What's up, it's your boy Papio. I'm here to break down my song Leech. Shout out to Band Division. Let's get lyrical. I've been on a grind so long and now my feet hurt Niggas wanna copy my moves because they leechers I'm a superstar top five, they on the bleachers I... Boom, JV come back from LA for a little bit uh, We at the studio in Camden and shit in the basement This is his, his uh, cousin shit We go down there, he got studio set up, all that he, he nice as hell when it comes to like recording and all that shit too So we in there fishing and shit I had this song, uh, I had this song that I already wrote which was Leech and shit I actually wrote the second verse to a fucking, uh, it was actually a feature verse. It was this nigga that hit me up. But then he even didn't tell me that, like, oh, like, it was a competition for him to, like, he had other two other niggas to get on, like, two other niggas that was doing a verse for it, too. And then he was going to pick out the best verse out of the three verses from three different people. I just, I didn't know that shit. I just thought he wanted to just connect with me and do a fucking song. But he had put me in this low-key competition shit. And, uh... He hit me back like, yo, like, uh, I ain't gonna go with your verse. And like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go with that. Like, low key, at the time, I was kind of tight, cause like, I went out and put my money into the studio and had to record that shit, then do all that shit, take, take all my time on my day and shit. Like, and when you asked me to do some shit, like, I was doing it off the strength. I ain't asked you for no bread or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause money, like, in my time is, to me, my shit viable. I don't know if it was viable to him, but my time very viable and, uh, to me. And uh, I felt like it was wasted at the time. I found the Andrew X beat and uh, found the joint and I just took the lyrics and I went in it. I, went, I got Billy K, uh, engineer up the highway and shit. And we went in and like he recorded that shit and, and, and then I created Leech right there, boom. Second verse when the boy didn't want. And, and I created the first verse and I, I threw a hook on that shit. And it just was like slapping, it was fire. I didn't even know how fire it was. I made a bunch of tracks that same day. I put the preview out on Facebook for Leech. Shit went dumb. Everybody like, yo, yo, snippet, yo, that snippet hard as fuck, bro. Like, release that. It was a challenge, like, at the time on Facebook. Like, yo, uh, release a, a unreleased song. An unreleased song so happened to be Leech. And Leech went dumb. Everybody wanted to share it. They shared it, and they forced me kind of to drop it. And once I dropped it, people forced me kind of, like, to, like, do the video, all that shit. Like, the people was like, so that shit's fire, you feel me? No cap, couple niggas that I ran into in the streets like, yo, bro, I shot that shit to Power 99. Like, I was, like, fishing it to him. Like, so a couple people was in there like, yo, I call Power 99, trying to get them to play your shit. They're like, I called a couple times before, like, for other people and shit. So, like, some, next thing you know, bro, like, I got the, I got Cosmic Kevin, my fucking DM hit me up. Like, yo, uh, send him, send me that song. And he sent me an email. And I sent him the song, bro. Probably a lot, like, probably, like, a week went by, probably two weeks. And then like, bro, I was sitting in my jaws in my crib, bro. Regular shit, like, just got off of work shit. And boom, somebody called me like, yo, you on the radio? So I'm like, what? I'm a cat, bro, you ain't on the fucking radio. Like, yeah, you on the radio, bro. And then I had ran to my car, like, and I turned the radio on. And it was fucking Leech playing, but it was just a beat. And it was another artist on the same fucking beat, bro. Real shit, this is a true story. There's another fucking artist on the beat, bro. A Philly artist, bro. And I know, for instance, like, I, it was weird because, like, I was getting, I was getting a leech that that song from Andrew X is a YouTube beat. Feel me? I at least it and shit. Feel me? Like, I said I had no intentions for it, what to do, what it did, but it definitely gave me my name. So, like, once that shit started going dumb in there, like, I heard a Philly artist on the, uh, on the radio. So, I'm like, damn, they playing that song. They playing my shit, but it's like... It's somebody else on there, like, I, and then right after that, Cosmic Kill, like, yeah, that's no, some shit about Philly. He was like, now Jersey, shout out to Jersey, and then the next thing you know, like, Camden's like, Camden, boom, and he played Leech, my shit, and then he kind of just played it like four or five times after the, he played it the first time. He was doing all his drops and shit, shout out Poppy, yo, blah blah blah, and I just like everybody went dumb. My phone went crazy. Everybody hit me up, congratulate me. I didn't even know what the fucking meant, bro, cause I ain't got, I didn't get signed or nothing like that. I just got, my shit just hit the tri-state. My music just hit the tri-state, you feel me? I just didn't even really know how to take it, so I just smoked a blunt and just sat in the car and see if I catch it again. And I sure enough did, like, through a late enough hour, I caught it again, and it went down. I mean, that's how that shit just started to, to translate into, into like, a little low-key, uh, tri-state mainstream, you would call it. You feel me? So, like, I was sitting in Tri-State, Philly, he was fucking with me, hard. Next thing you know, game hit me up, 
shot it out. He asked me, like, yo, if I'm gonna do anything to possibly to help you. Is anything I could do? Don't know game from shit, just no game from just being a celebrity and shit like that. You feel me? Uh, hit me up over the phone, reached out, sent he sent his vocals of just talking his shit on the beginning. I'ma just talk my shit on the beginning of the record, cause like you're doing creep, killing the shit already. What's good with my bloody? It's the nigga game. You already know I'm fucking with my nigga Poppy Yo. All the way from Compton to New Jersey. This that leech. We can't stand leechers, man. Fuck them niggas. Always wanna copy a nigga, be a nigga, me too ass nigga. Fuck them niggas. Hey yo, Poppy, talk to him, bloody. I've been on a grind so long. That's gonna give you a boost, you feel me? That's gonna give you a, a step or song, you feel me? And it's showing up there, people heard game and going crazy. I had a lot of fans from overseas hit me up about it. Like, I wish I, at the time, because when I kind of was blowing off and taking off as Poppy, I was, unfortunately, we was in a pandemic. So COVID broke out and I couldn't even go up to Poppy. I didn't want to even talk to Kev if I wanted to. I did get called to some podcasts and we definitely did talk. And they would ask me that question. They were like, yeah, Poppy, you know, if it wasn't a pandemic right now, you'd be right up there in Cosmic Kev on a come up show and shit like that, going crazy. You feel me? Definitely putting on for the tri state, blah, 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 how to feel. The, for your music to be on the radio and shit like that. And I'm just like, man, it feel unbelievable. It's actually a dream come true of mine, you feel me? Like I always wanted to be on the radio and then I got my shot. And after that, I was on Power 99 for like probably that month and a half straight. And then like 98.5 would hit me up and I, they'll play a bunch of my other records. And then I just started to get radio play. Like all my shit happened in the grace of God, like Power 99 from, from Game. And then like even from the uh, remix for Leech. I, uh, I got uh, OT the real. Shout out to OT the real. He uh, popped out, and you know his man hit me up. Shout out to his man SK. He hit me up and, uh, in the DM like, yo. At the time, I didn't even know SK was connected to fucking to for OT and shit. He hit me up like, yeah, yo, uh, what's up with that leech, yo? You trying to do a remix of that shit? I'm like, yeah, for sure, I do a remix, but like on some real shit, low key, I ain't gonna cap. I was kind of waiting, like till I get real big. Like I was hoping that leech take off super crazy. So I get like like dirt on that shit or something, you feel me? Cause I feel like that shit would've went crazy with like, like a Chicago artist on that shit. Cause it was like that type vibe. But then OT hit me up and I'm like, you know, fuck it. Like OT hottest, he was the hottest white boy out in Philly. You feel me? Fucking shit up. Leech remix popped off, went dumb. Had the, had the intro with the game. And then I had OT jump out and I had a new verse in the beginning. It went stupid crazy. That shit dropped 2020 and 2023. I still really haven't dropped a fucking project. Out of them three years, I haven't dropped a project. I was just, for two years, I was fucking performing crazy. And then like one year I just said, fuck it. Just went on vacations and just gave music a break a little bit. And now I'm here I'm with you guys and shit. You know what I mean? We out here, you feel me? Bandit vision, you feel me? To me, a leech is a, is a user. I've been on a grind so long and now my feet hurt. Niggas wanna copy my moves because they leechers. I'm a superstar, top five, they on the bleachers. I can never follow a lame, I am a leech.